<laughs> oh, Bethesda, you son of a bitch. So as you can see, Fallout 76 is not getting the best reviews. But that being said, I still got the game. Come on. I'm going to try to give Fallout 76 a chance. Even though I kind of did spin on it a little bit in a video or two. But... You know, it is what it is. Bethesda is trying something new. I just wish they went at it a little differently. Maybe a story here or there, you know, some kind of narrative. <laughs> just saying. But today is not one of those videos. It's not a hate video. I actually got something pretty damn cool in the mail, and I wanted to share it with y'all. And it does relate to Fallout 76. So I ended up getting a Pit boy replica kit. Looking at the case here that it comes in, this thing's going to be fucking quality. I can already tell you. On top of this beautiful box here, you've got... A little badge. It just says Pit Boy on it. Pit Boy Model 2000 Mark 6. So that's the model of the Pit Boy you use in Fallout 76. So opening up the box, of course, you've got the Pit Boy disassembled. This is a kit, so it is something you got to build. On the uh, top part here, he's got a bunch of stuff. It says it says fun, easy, full size. Assemble your model of the future today. Hard work is happy work. You take the plastic cover out, and you've got your two screwdrivers in there. You got your flathead and your Phillips head and some kind of wrench that are taped in there. So it does come with little tools, but I'm probably not going to use these tools. I got some tools that I am going to use on here instead. I swear, these are some of the smallest screwdrivers I believe I've ever seen. Then you take out your next insert, which has your screen of the Pip-Boy in it, your controls. Then you got your bottom section here that has the rest of your Pip-Boy. Got your components in here, which is your nuts and screws and bolts. So your instructions are pretty detailed. Don't really look like there's too much to it. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, it does look like it's pretty scattered out on here and there's quite a bit to do, but what's the fun of this if there's no challenge, you know what I'm saying? Come on. You got little stickers to put on there, has the date, the time, well actually I don't think it's the time, it's just has the date. It says Rob Co. so you can put the little branding on there. Uh, it, has, it comes with a screen sticker, which I'm probably not going to use. I, when I put it on display, I want to look like it's off, you know, I don't want to have it looking like it's always on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this thing together. And I'm not going to video any of it. Let's be honest. I don't want to look like an idiot putting this thing together. Look, making myself look stupid because I can't put it together. So, I'm not going to video it, okay? You're just going to see it in its finished state without seeing me struggle. All right, we got it together here. And it is absolutely looking phenomenal. I really do enjoy the look of this little kit. Really nicely detailed. I had a really good time building this little pit boy. It took me about two hours to build. I'm pretty sure someone else could build it faster than me. I'm not here. Beat some kind of record. I just enjoyed myself building it. It was really fun. Every single thing on this pit boy you had to build. I mean everything. Even the clasp that tightens it around your arm. You had to build that. You had to put the springs in the buttons. You even had to run the wires in here. Now you don't have to connect the wires. There's no wiring at all. There's no power on this thing. You just put them in little holes and make them look like they're doing something. It's just for the look, you know, it's detail that they wanted to put on there. And it looks really good. I like that they did that. They went that far on this little kit. It really does make you feel like you're actually building a real Pip-Boy. You also have to build the little hole tape that comes with it. And yes, it is the easiest thing to build in this little kit. For some reason, I've got some kind of coloration problem, but I'm not going to take any points away for that. Your deck on the Pip-Boy is fully functional, so you can insert it in the Pip-Boy. Every button and knob on the Pip-Boy is fully functional. Now when I say fully functional, I mean they're, they're not turning anything on or off. They're just pushable, I guess you can say. You even have a dial that slides up and down with a needle on it that tells you what radio station you're on. also want to point out that this little badge that's on it, you got to put that on there when you're building it. The little badge is actually metal. It tells you what model it is, and I think this is just the coolest. Now I want to talk about the level of difficulty it was to build this little kit. To tell you the truth, it really wasn't that hard. But I did use some tools that did not come with the set. And I want to talk about that because if you just use the tools that come with the set, I just want to warn you, get ready for some tedious bullshit. Because first off, these two screwdrivers you get, these little tiny novelty screwdrivers, are not really worth a damn. Absolutely no grip, no leverage, just too small and just more of a novelty than anything. But after getting further into the kit, I did come along two Allen Key style Phillips and Flathead tools. I used these for almost the whole entire build. Also comes with a Allen Key, which is really nice. You've got two screws in the whole entire kit that you will have to use this on. So it's really nice that they added that in there. And then of course you've got the wrench and it did its job very well. I really did like this wrench. It, it actually fit every bolt to a T. There was no slack. Usually you got slack in them and you end up stripping them. But this actually worked pretty good. So on a scale of difficulty from 1 to 10, 
using nothing but the tools that come with this little kit, you're going to be looking at a solid 7 or 8. It's going to be a little difficult using just the tools that come with the kit. The tools that I used on this kit that were not included, some pliers. I used these to crimp the wires in place. I really don't know any other way to get these wires set without pliers. I also got some tweezers. I found myself using tweezers a lot more than any other tool I really had because you could use the tweezers to set these small screws where they need to go and then tighten them up. You also can use your tweezers to put stickers in place. You're really actually going to have to have tweezers. Some of the stickers you have to put on the pit boy are in like little indentions, little holes. I would say tweezers are absolutely needed doing this kit. I also used a cordless drill. This is something you don't have to use. It just makes the whole process of tightening screws up a little bit easier. So using all the tools that I just mentioned that I used, I'd have to say the level of difficulty would probably be about four to five, scale of one to 10. They do mention that this kit can also be disassembled and put back into its box, but highly doubt you can get this thing back apart. There were some of the stuff that you really had to work to get together and I just don't see it coming apart, especially the wires. I don't see you taking the wires back out once you crimp them. As for me, I'm not going to be taking this thing apart. I accidentally bought two of these things. I guess the little box you got to check how many you want. I guess it had two and I got two of them. So I got one in the box and one of them built. So I guess it's a plus on my part. I ain't got to worry about taking this damn thing apart if I want it in the box. So here we are at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. The one company did a really good job at making this kit. It's a very well detailed kit. So go ahead, like the video, subscribe, leave some feedback in the comment section below. If you have any questions on this kit, want to know anything else that I didn't already cover in this video, just let me know and I'll try my best to help you out. So yeah guys, I'll see you later. Peace.